I'm gonna make a video and show you guys how to fix your Maxon lift gate 2500 pound capacity. Now, I'm on the passenger side of my box truck in the rear. You can see this is my lift gate motor. I'm not sure where you guys' motors will be located, but check the back behind the tires. Uh, probably inside of some type of a box. Mine didn't have a box. Uh, so, the problem that I was having was when I come to lift my gate, it will get about right here and then it will struggle to get up. It'll, it, it, it will go so slow and struggle so hard to get up and squeal a lot while it was doing it. Now, as you can see, it goes up very smooth and goes down very smooth. Try not to squish my foot. Goes down very smooth. It goes back up very smooth. It's all shiny because I just put it, I just hit it with some oil to uh, rust prevent it. Now I have to go back behind myself and uh, clean the oil off because I don't want anybody slipping and hurting yourself off of the lift gate. Now let me, what you're gonna have to do is open your lift gate if you can and let it down. If you can open it, let it down like that. Now you're gonna need some hydraulic fluid. Just so happened that I changed my transmission oil recently and I had some left over. Hydraulic and transmission fluid. Get you some of this. It costs about 15 bucks for a small jug of AutoZone. Uh, pour it into a cup, any cup, funnel, doesn't matter, just pour it into something. Here goes a cup right here. And pour some up in there. Like that, pour it up in there. All right. Now when I get it poured up in there, come over here to my lift gate. Now, mine, since it didn't have a box, it was all gunky and oily and nasty. So if you're scared of dirt and you don't want your hands looking like this, then get you some gloves. Now there's a cap right here. Here's the cap that I took off. This cap was located right here on the top, sort of in the middle of this motor. Didn't need no special tools or anything. It just twists right off just like a soda, soda bottle top. Get your transmission oil, hydraulic fluid, and you'll see this right here where you just unscrew that cap at. Pour it right up in there. And it doesn't matter if you spill some all over the place. It's okay. Nothing to happen. It, it, it goes in really slow. Now, I already poured about seven cups already. This is my eighth cup. I'm not sure about how much you're supposed to put, but after I put my second cup in there, I seen a major difference in performance. Now, I'm going to show you in a second. Um, I weigh 300 pounds myself, about 280. I ain't going to lie. I lost the weight. But when I stand up on this lift gate, it, it, it was, I wish I could do it before, before and after video. The lift gate was just so poor in performance. It'll go up halfway. Sometimes it'll stop. It just, it was just so poor. You can hear the motor trying, revving, but there was no, there's nothing after that. It just wouldn't help. It was so weak. But once I pour this cup in here, I'm going to show you how strong it's gotten. I've done nothing else. All I did was pour this in there. I didn't drain any oil. I didn't drain anything from out of here. Not don't even know if I'm supposed to or not. But I didn't see any videos on YouTube helping me. Uh, so I'm going to see who I can help by putting this up. Now, like I said, it takes forever to put this freaking oil in here. And don't worry if you spill it on the motor. It's not going to blow up. It's not going to do anything. It probably helps it because uh, oil prevents rust, which is why I put oil on my lift gate. <sighs> I'm going to have to go back and wipe that off with some Dawn, cut through that grease and clean it off because, uh, like I said, don't want nobody falling and hurting yourself, slipping off my lift gate. I'm almost done pouring this in there. It goes really slow. Okay. 
So I finally poured all of it in there and it'll sink down by itself. I think that's all I'm gonna put because it's it's acting really good. I'm gonna put my top back on there. Put my top back on here and screw it in. Now, like I said, if your skirts get dirty and oily, make sure you get some gloves on. This is a really, really dirty, nasty job. If I can get this top on here. All right, so it only took me an extra hour to get that cap on there for some reason. But like I said, I weigh almost 300 pounds. And my lift gate was really weak. Sometimes it wouldn't even go up empty. And if I was standing on it, even worse. Now, let me show you how smooth it goes while I'm standing on it. Again, the freaking thing is oily. Bad idea. But I'm standing on it. I don't have a switch, so don't laugh at my ghetto this. Alright, I'm going up. See how smooth it's going? No squealing, no squealing. You seen it stop briefly because, uh, like I said, I don't have a switch and I lost connect with the wire. Now I let it back down. Really smooth. No problem. It doesn't have problems going down anyways. One more time going up. That background noise is coming from somewhere else, not my truck. There's a repair shop next door. Oh, I let's co lost connect with the wire again. Anyways, I don't have any problems with it. I keep losing connect with that wire. Now, let me show you with me off of it. Really smooth. Really smooth. Yeah. Why don't you get you some WD-40 or some old used oil or something. And uh, go ahead and oil the bottom of your lift gate. Because you see all this rust building up. Eventually in a couple of more years this lift gate is going to be unusable. If that's a word. Because um, that rust is going to eat through it. And oil prevents rust and it fights rust. So... Go ahead and do that. I put some on the top too, but I'm going to come back with some um, Dawn, some dishwashing liquid, which is very good at uh, cutting through grease. And I'm going to do that. But it works just fine. There it is. Maxon lift gate, 2,500 pound capacity, hydraulic fluid change i guess now, again i didn't take any fluid out i didn't take anything out there's nothing that came out all i did was put in so i mean if I, if I did it wrong then let me know in the comments but hey it works it wasn't working before and it works now so i'm happy there it is